Aloha class of 2020, let me be the first to congratulate you on your great accomplishment of graduating from President William McKinley High School. Although this may not be exactly how you envision graduation and commencement, there is much to have been learned from this whole experience. This experience has tied you not only with every single student or every single graduate from the class of 2020 here in Hawaii, but across the world as well. All of you have gone through different types of experience because of this great event that happened to us, that hopefully it'll make you better and you learn from it and how to overcome more obstacles as you go on into your futures. I always talk about a journey, how your journey to this point in time has come. Some of you, your paths have been easy, and some of you, your paths have been difficult, full of obstacles and barriers. But each one of you, through your journey, has overcome and persevered to get to this point in time today. And for that, you must be congratulated on, because it is a momentous event and momentous time in your life. The biggest wish, and I think every single person who has been part of your lives, may it be teachers, may it be your security, may it be your custodians, um, every person who is part of this school, who has, who has touched you in some way, wishes you all the best, and that we have given you all the support, all the skills, and all the knowledge to be successful in your next part of your lives. And that's the important piece, yeah? To really take what the life lessons that you've learned here and that you can apply it to any situation, and anything that happens to you in the future, so that no matter what's placed in front of you, you're able to overcome and you're able to adapt and move on to your goal. Although we cannot see the future and how your lives will turn out, we here at McKinley High School have no doubt that you'll be successful in whatever you do. And we're very proud of you. And we know that each one of you takes with takes with you the pride and the tradition that we've instilled upon you for the past four years. And it's important because now you join a bigger community of McKinley alumni who not only represent the school, but you represent a bigger community of McKinley Tigers. Pride and tradition, and I always tell you guys, it's not just words, it's how you live your life every day. So as I address you as your principal for the last time, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. You take that pride and tradition from our school and take it to the community, like I told you, and you will join the thousands of other graduates who have walked through these halls and have crossed the O. I wish you the very best of luck in what you do, all the success and happiness you deserve in your future lives, and most importantly, mahalo for letting me be part of your lives. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for a great four years. I am happy to be on this seemingly endless roller coaster with you all. I saw you at your best, watching you on stage winning medals in front of the brightest in the state. I was even lucky enough to sit with some of you every day in my classroom, spilling the latest tea. Being one of the first to see your new driver's license, your first car, you working at your first jobs, and being there when you realize that you might know what you want to do in the future, I enjoyed every moment. Life is not always fair, and it can be extremely difficult, as you guys have witnessed firsthand the past few months. But just know that things will get better, so continue being kind to others and make good choices. Choices you make in both good and bad times will determine how your roller coaster ride goes. Will it be filled with moments of anxiety, nausea, and regret? Or will it be filled with laughter, anticipation, and hoping it won't end? No other class could have weathered the challenges that you have faced. Every class after this will look back and say, how did they do it? I can imagine all of the great things you will do. Seeing you race down King Street driving an ambulance, or working as a doctor helping others get better owning a cute new boba shop on Kapilani Boulevard, or becoming a huge star on the silver screen. I look forward to seeing your smiling faces at the front desk of a fancy hotel, or designing new therapies, or robots to help Ms. Richards and I age gracefully. 
and hopefully some of you will be lucky enough to work at the happiest place on earth. Each of you has the potential to become anything you want and to make your own dreams come true. Thank you for all of the time, effort, and faith that you have put in your class and school. A very special thank you to the class of 2020 officers who listened and cared. They made our job as advisors so rewarding. I will miss you all and can't wait to see you in the future. To the class of 2020, my last group of students who call me Miss Yamashiro, my class, my kids. Congratulations, you made it to today. Four years ago, you all gathered in the gym for freshman orientation. You quickly learned your first lesson, that gym is hot. Your second lesson was about how special McKinley Tigers are. They are a smart, hardworking, well-respected breed who live and breathe pride and tradition. Over the past four years, you have spent countless hours sweating in the gym, whether it was cheering on your class at the homecoming assembly or playing your heart out in volleyball and basketball games. You spent hours studying for quizzes and tests. You spent too many frantic last minutes trying to finish up assignments whose deadlines just seem to come out of nowhere. You worked hard, you pushed through, you made it to today. Today, your life begins. It's finally your turn to officially cross the oval. As you walk down the auditorium steps for the last time as a McKinley student, remember all the good times with your friends. Reflect on how the hard times made you a better person. And remember all the people who helped get you here. Thank them and love them. Tomorrow, people will treat you differently they will hold you to a higher standard and respect you a little bit more because you are officially an alumnus of McKinley High School. Keep on doing all the good things you've been doing. Keep learning, keep working hard, and keep pushing through. Exude Tiger Pride. Go forth, do good. I wish the world for you. I wish for everything you've ever always wanted and more. <laughs> Thank you all for everything, for all the fun times, all the stressful times, and everything in between. You will forever be my kids, my students, my class. Congratulations to McKinley's class of 2020. Aloha, parents, teachers, administrators, friends of McKinley High School, and fellow classmates. Today, we celebrate our commencement ceremony in what has been a very challenging time for us all. The past few months have brought many changes to our lives, and graduation is no exception. But how lucky we are to have teachers, families, and supporters who pushed for a virtual ceremony so that our seniors could leave McKinley with some semblance of closure. The fact that we still have cause for celebration, the fact that we still have means for celebration, and the fact that we still have hope for celebration should be our pillars of strength. Let's face it, we might not have the usual pomp and circumstance, but we do have our Tiger Ohana. And with our Ohana, we celebrate the greatest class McKinley will ever know. Thank you, and welcome to McKinley High School's Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Seniors, please say this with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Since a group of tigers is called a streak, we as graduating McKinley Tigers are departing the streak and making our own ways into this big, beautiful world. During these unprecedented times, we learn ways to keep with tradition without breaking tradition. As we move on from McKinley, I challenge you to do two things. One, let's make it our mission to leave this world better, cleaner, and kinder for the next generation. Two, let's come back to our alma mater in a few years to give back to this historic institution and the youth of tomorrow. Let's come back to the place that gave us our start as teachers, mentors, volunteers, and friends. Why? Because it is here that we were taught to be the altruistic and critical thinking McKinley High School Tigers, class of 2020. Aloha family and friends. My name is Pumehana Holmes and I'm this year's senior class president. Throughout the past four years serving the class of 2020, I've noticed three things. One, we don't seem to have any teal or seafoam green clothing. Two, we cannot be trusted with balloons. It only took us one assembly to figure that out. And three, we're a lot like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. For those of you who don't know, Dr. Doofenshmirtz is an evil scientist from Disney's Phineas and Ferb, who is constantly thwarted by his emesis, Agent P. Despite his constant setbacks, he hustles in pursuit of his goal of one day dominating the tri-state area. He's like us. No, not an evil scientist, an underdog. In order to understand an underdog, you must first know their origin story. Ours began in freshman year. We were young and looking forward to what high school had to offer us. When the homecoming competition came along, we placed last. And for two years, we were on a fierce losing streak that dampened any spirit we were able to muster. We had those who refused to participate in any spirit week activity. Those who were white on Blackout Friday, and even had several events canceled due to low turnout. Adults didn't see much in us, opting not to sit in our bleachers during assemblies. Classes didn't see us as much of a threat during competitions. And eventually, we gave hope on ourselves as well, until we placed second in our homecoming chant competition in our junior year. And from then on, our spirit and drive skyrocketed. And while our senior year was cut short, we've still managed to accomplish a lot, for starters, our school made history by having the first female quarterback in the state of Hawaii. Our seniors in band have made a four-year commitment and have dedicated hours daily to continuing a legacy that will outlast them. Our seniors in robotics were in world championships last year and won Hawaii regionals this year. Our seniors in speech were in states for the past three years, have become state champions, and have been in nationals. And we even have several social media influencers in the midst making content that entertains people. Y'all know who you are. So just like Dr. Doofenshmirtz, we've tried and failed at a lot of things. But as a class and as individuals, we've prevailed. We put our energy and passion into the things we've cared about and overcame obstacles. We grew grit and fought for what we wanted to accomplish. This virtual ceremony is a testament of that. The hustle is in our blood. And while we are not dominating the tri-state area, we're definitely on our way towards dominating the world. Thank you. Aloha, friends, family, and distinguished guests. From the first day we set foot on this glorious campus, we embraced the phrase, get off the oval, because we knew that honor was reserved for every tiger on their graduating day. Well, that day has come. And instead of physically walking over that oval, we are virtually sitting together to celebrate the class of 2020 in a way none of us could have imagined. In the past month, 
The COVID-19 pandemic has thrown us all out of our routines. And as we adjust to a new normal, there are a few people we Tigers need to recognize. First, thank you to our teachers. They have spent countless hours with us, not just teaching us, but molding us as well. When the statewide quarantine was announced, our teachers adapted quickly and worked nonstop to provide digital assignments and online classes for us so that we wouldn't lose our valuable education. They are the backbones of this school. They even went above and beyond to contact each and every one of us just to ensure that we were doing okay. Second, thank you to our parents, the people who have given us life and unconditional love since the day we were born. They painstakingly dealt with the fact that having us home 24 seven was the new normal. Parents dealt with us eating nonstop when in reality, we were just really bored. They have supported us through thick and thin. And here they are today, supporting us once again as we celebrate a milestone. We must thank them for always being there for us, even when quarantine gave them no choice. And last, thank you to our friends. Whether it was Zoom or FaceTime, the conversations that we had made self-isolation feel less like total isolation. They have made the last four years memorable, tolerable even. And even though we are miles apart within the confines of our own spaces, we are together. Collectively, these individuals have made this day possible. They have all watched us grow through our high school journey. Now, as we wait to turn our tassels and officially become McKinley alumni, we must revel in the fact that we are resilient and distinguished students of McKinley High School. We had been given the opportunity to value the purpose of education, spend more time with our families, cherish all the interactions we've had with our friends, and we've learned to never take the small moments of happiness for granted. Moments like now, we will hold this day dearly in our hearts. Our ceremony will go down in history. No other class will have a ceremony quite like this one. So, as Elle Woods once said to her graduating class, congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Good afternoon, Tigers. My name is Damian Chang. Some of you may recognize me from the welcome speech just a few minutes ago. Just a few months ago, we welcomed the dawn of a new decade, and already it presents us with new challenges. Undoubtedly, it promises us more to come. After our ceremony here today, we will venture out into a world that will present us with many questions. Will social distancing extend through the end of the year? Will travel ever be the same again? And most importantly, how will we confront the horrors of integrating ourselves back into society where the people are much less attractive than the ones on Instagram and TikTok? In difficult times, people turn to the future for hope. And guess what, seniors? We are that hope. I believe in us, and we must believe in each other because there are qualities that we Tigers have and share unlike any other group of graduates in the world. With our resilience, we will endure through the last vestiges of this pandemic and the first years of college and our newfound jobs, united in spirit and in heart. With our courage, we will confront every new experience and challenge alike and turn our post high school endeavors into a lifelong adventure with our passion, we will push past all limits mankind could ever conceive and inspire future generations with our energy and dedication for what we love. And with our aloha, we will show humanity what it means to lead with love and laughter, and the world will be better for it. 
if we greet the future with those same qualities that we have so demonstrated time and time again, we will succeed. Because whether or not we believe ourselves to be ordinary or extraordinary, what makes us great is the sum of our parts. In spite of the adversity we may have faced, we have always overcome it together and done incredible things. I know we are going to create a legacy. I know we will redefine McKinley like our predecessors. And I know we will shape the world with our aloha. There is much ahead of us, but undeniably the hallmark of a tiger is to confront the challenge of every era and transform it for better years to come. And already we have begun to write that future. Perhaps I was ill-chosen to represent this class as a speaker. I confess, my vision is in 2020. But I know I don't need glasses to see the future we're going to create. I have faith that it will be brighter than the world could ever imagine. Never shall we forget who we are, the proud class of 2020, and the strengths we carry. Mahalo for an amazing four years with you all and my best wishes for even greater years to come. The Class of 2020's class gift is a monetary contribution towards the Digital Marquee Fund started by the Class of 2018. It will be constructed on the corner of Pensacola and King Street and will be used to help communicate upcoming events, news, and announcements to our students as well as our community. It is a great honor to be a Tiger and we hope you accept our class gift. Complex Area Superintendent Dewey. The students before you have met all of the graduation requirements as set forth by the State of Hawaii's Board of Education. It is my distinct pleasure to present to you the men and women of President William McKinley High School's Class of 2020. Complex Area Superintendent. Congratulations, graduates, in the esteemed Class of 2020. Beyond being the first graduating class in this decade, you are the only class that has experienced major historical events, including world terrorism in 2002, and now a worldwide pandemic. As a result, every one of you possesses a foundation of resilience that you will bring into everything you seek to accomplish from this day forward. Please take the time to consider how you will share your unique gifts and passions with the world. My very best regards to you as you move forward in achieving any and all of your dreams. On behalf of the Department of Education, I acknowledge the McKinley High School Class of 2020 and bestow upon them all of the rights and privileges of the Hawaii High School Diploma. Congratulations, graduates.
When you take that first step on the oval, be proud of yourself. You accomplished this, the thing you've been waiting your whole life for. Celebrate it. You know, the world right now has a lot of problems and in the middle of a crisis, people are looking for courage and for strength. That's where you come in. See, McKinley, you've been prepped and ready and, and trained up to bring courage to this world. You need courage to have hope and you need strength to not just bear your own burden, but to bear the burdens of those around you. And that's who we are, that's who you are as a McKinley Tiger. So I encourage you to think about those things. We're proud of you guys. We love you guys and we'll always be here for you. As far as biking across the oval, here are the directions. Okay, President William McKinley High School, class of 2020, let's get you graduated.